Number two naman, ang mapapansin nyo, meron tayong complex number sa numerator with the real part and imaginary part. At tapos, meron tayong imaginary number sa denominator. So, tulad nung problem number one, imumultiply lang natin yung numerator and denominator ng i para ma-rationalize natin siya or ma-eliminate natin yung i sa denominator. So, pagka dinistribute natin si i sa numerator, we'll have 2i plus 3i squared. Tapos sa baba naman, 5i times i, meron tayong 5i squared. At pag simplify natin yung rational expression, yung i squared, pwede natin siyang gawing negative 1. Kaya meron tayong 2i plus 3 times negative 1 all over 5 times negative 1. So ngayon, wala na yung mga i sa mga denominators natin at yung mga i squared, kaya meron tayong 2i minus 3 all over negative 5. Pero... Itong rational expression na to, hindi pa simplest form kasi kailangan nasa standard form yung mga complex number natin. So, tandaan nyo, dapat real part muna and then yung imaginary part. Kaya yung final answer ko is negative 3 plus 2i over negative 5. Yung problem number 3 ko naman, meron akong 3 all over 2 minus 5i. So ngayon, yung denominator ko, eh, merong real part and imaginary part. At ito yung uh, case na kung saan kailangan na natin ng conjugate para ma-rationalize natin yung rational expression. So from 3 all over 2 minus 5i, ang gagawin natin is magmumultiply tayo ng conjugate dun sa denominator at numerator. So yun yung step, yun yung rule para ma-rationalize yung rational expression na ganitong form. So, meron tayo ngayon 3 all over 2 minus 5i times yung conjugate ng denominator nyo, which is 2 plus 5i, at saka 2 plus 5i sa, sa taas. So, imumultiply natin yung numerator by the conjugate ng denominator, kaya meron tayong line na ganito. So, sa susunod na line, magdidistribute tayo ng 3 sa 2 plus 5i, at magmumultiply naman tayo ng conjugate dun sa denominator. So, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 5 is 15i, tapos yung pag-multiply ng conjugate, yung katulad ng examples kanina, hindi na natin siya ipofoil. Multiply nyo lang si 2 and 2, which is 4, multiply negative 5i times positive 5i, you'll have negative 25i squared. And then, tanggalin nyo yung mga i squared kasi simplify natin siya as negative 1, kaya meron tayong 6 plus 15i, all over 4, minus 25 times negative 1. And to further simplify yung expression, Yung 25 mo magiging positive and then pwede mong i-combine yung constant kasi para silang real part. 4 plus 25 is 29. So from here, yung ating complex number hindi na natin binabago kasi simplest form na siya at nasa standard form pa. So yung final answer natin would be 6 plus 59 all over 29. So ito yung method na gagamitin natin kapag yung denominator nyo ay merong real part at imaginary part. Yung example number 4 naman natin, ito yung uh, may pinakamahabang steps. Kasi, meron tayong complex numbers sa numerator na merong real part at imaginary part. At meron din tayong complex numbers sa denominator na meron ding real part and imaginary part. So, parehas din ng step na ginamit natin sa example number 3. Kailangan natin mag-multiply ng conjugate sa numerator and denominator. So, ito yung ginawa ko. Yung conjugate ng 4 minus 3i is 4 plus 3i. So, imumultiply ko sila dito sa first fraction kasi nagra-rationalize tayo. So, pag nagra-rationalize, kailangan matanggal yung imaginary numbers sa denominator. So, yung taas, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung shortcut kasi hindi naman conjugate ng 5 minus 2i si 4 plus 3i. Ang conjugate ng 4 plus 3i, yung baba lang. So, yung baba, pwede natin i-shortcut at yung uh, sa taas, magpo-foil tayo. So, medyo mahaba yung process sa numerator kesa sa denominator. So, magpo-foil tayo sa numerator. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times negative, 5 times positive 3i is positive 15i. Negative 2i times 4 is negative 8i. Negative 2i times 3i is negative 6i squared. And then yung sa baba, since conjugate sila, Shortcut method. 4 times 4 is 16. Negative 3i times positive 3i is negative 9i squared. 
Now, yung numerator, pwede natin siya i-simplify combining like terms. 15i minus 18i is 7i. At yung 6i squared nyo, alam natin is mag magiging negative 1. So, simplify nyo yung sa denominator, 16 minus 9 times negative 1. Magkakaroon ka na 16 plus 9. At yung negative 6 times negative 1 mo, pwede na siyang positive 6. So, combine yung 20 and 6, meron tayong 26 plus 7i all over 25. At ito na yung rationalized, um, rational expression natin. So, guys. Medyo mahaba yung step, pero pag marunong kayo mag-foil at marunong mag-multiply ng conjugate, madali lang yung mga process.